what's going on youtube void here and today we got something really different i tricked the dvd dev like an actual dead by daylight dev into banning an innocent youtube streamer yeah all right we probably got ahead of ourselves some people are probably new let's just like start from the beginning i cheated in dead by daylight and due to that you know we gained a lot of uh no <laughs> We gained a lot of notoriety inside the DVD community, but just this June, something changed. Like I would normally get banned in DVD. All right, cool, 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 cool. It's a part of the cheating part. Okay, yeah, it's understandable. You cheat in DVD, you get banned. But the bans start happening really, really quickly. I'm talking about less than 30 minutes type quickly. And the thing is, they only happen when I was on live. It never happened when I was off. So we're thinking, okay, maybe, you know, exactly what you're thinking. Okay, maybe the cheats are detected, right? Nah, it's not, it wasn't the cheats that were detected. It wasn't the cheats. We isolated all the variables and to the point where like, we were kind of just confused. Like we don't know what the hell is going on until we like challenged the dev uh, that we thought was here, but we didn't really know. When we put up our cloud ID, I put it on the screen. I'm like, if you're here, dev, come on, ban it, ban it, ban it, ban it, ban it. Before we even played a game, that account was banned after we discovered this even when we played on legit accounts that did not have any cheats on them at all they would still ban the account even if the account was legit they saw me from the beginning to end booted up no cheats no cheats were ever injected they would ban that account in less than 20 seconds within the first game at this point i'm like okay there's a dev watching 100 percent and we dealt with that for uh, about two weeks ish and whatnot at which point we had an idea let's see and this would be 100 verification if we can get them to ban somebody else or if there's just some way they're tracking me and i'm just fucked. we found a youtuber a smaller youtuber uh named abnormal ramen five six three seven that was playing at the same time we were streaming we put his screen up he next and went back a little bit so it wouldn't buffer and we just act like we were playing. He, he not letting me get this hatch. He is not letting me get this hatch at all. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like he really didn't want me to get the hatch. Okay. Wait. <gasps> you survived? Yep. Good job. He downed me at the hatch. He let me go to the hatch. Um, okay. And then he downed me at it. I'm not surprised. We had already deduced that the dev needed three games to find my account, at least for the first time. And then afterwards he could like, just like snipe me extremely quickly, less than 20 seconds. But every time the first time happened, he needs at least three games. So we act like we're playing, and then within three games, this happened. Yeah, like I know what you're thinking, right? Oh, it's just easy anti-cheat. There's nothing. Like, oh, he just reboots and he's good to go. No, that's the message you get when you get kicked from. Yeah, that's when you get banned. I don't know. Yeah, I tried to overcomplicate it, but no, that's the message you get when you get banned. What will happen is it'll kick you out to the lobby. Sometimes it'll kick you straight out, like out of the game and tell you like you've been temp, you've been not temporary, you've been permanently banned or suspended. Um, in his case, he couldn't boot up all the lobby. And this is usually what happens. If you go, if you play on that account, within five seconds of you being in the lobby, it'll boot you back out, which is why Abnormal Ramen couldn't get to the game. I left a comment on his video because it, you know, I'm, I'm thinking what you're thinking. Like it could just be a gigantic coincidence. Right. I left a comment on him, uh, his uh, page, asking him like, yo, if you get banned, uh, let me know. If not, ignore this comment. And he said, yeah, my account did get banned. I don't know why. The few days after this stream, it said I had a connection error. Sometimes they won't give you the bad message or say no network connection. If you are in the cheating community, you know that that means you are banned. And not only does that mean you're banned, you're probably HWID banned, which means no matter what account you use on that PC, it will get banned within two to three games. So in other words, Ramen can't play DVD at all unless he gets a new PC. And if he accidentally ever logs into that account, it's over. 
it's over it's over like everything on his uh pc will get banned all over again yeah that was me man so if ramen comments under this video i've already talked to him a little bit if he comments under this video i'll pin it and he can like tell a story but yeah man i am toxic 100 i know that i know it i know it. i know it. i just don't give a damn but i did get this dude's account banned because i don't want to test i didn't really think the dev like would be that stupid and whatnot if you get banned and you are like not a big streamer your account is just gone like and there's like a lot of reddit posts of people getting accidentally banned and whatnot and uh they'll get unbanned but due to the spaghetti code once an update happens they'll just get banned again all over again it's like a big thing on reddit so what i would like to say please blow this video up not for me but for abnormal ramen 5637 again this dude is a small streamer and he is fucked and he didn't do anything wrong he just played the game and he unfortunately was the profile that i saw and unfortunately the since the dvd dev watches all the streams he was really thirsty to ban any account that i showed on stream so with that being said if anyone in the dead by daylight community or the higher ups and whatnot the devs are watching this again abnormal ramen 5637 he did not do anything wrong his ban is completely unjustified and it's due to me and due to the dev that watches my streams and bans my accounts every single day. If his account doesn't come back soon and that dev is still watching my accounts when I go to stream, I am going to trick that dev into banning more accounts until Abnormal Ramen gets his account back. Again, I'm talking too much. I'll see y'all in the next one, but please let's do something for Abnormal Ramen and get this dude's account back because I fucked up and DBD fucked up too.